I do and everyone. So we'll continue with more robots and card and put things together, Raspberry Pi and Arduino. So today we have this uh, four, two, four uh, wheel drive card kit. Take it much easy to install. I like this company because it includes a great PDF to put things together. Uh, this one is a much easy project. The other ones we built before. Remember, we are here every Saturday live at one o'clock in the afternoon Eastern time where we build robots and much more with Raspberry Pi, Adreno almost every Saturday. It's been over a month already that we put this, this, all these different projects, some more complicated, some less complicated like this one. Let's begin now. All right, so how are we doing, everyone? My name is Dario from MediaBoxCNT.com, and yes, we bring you all these gray and uh, car kits. You know, we built a spider already. We have a, a tank, a dog, a cat, and who knows how many more animals or things we have built over here. That, and maybe they're controlled with Raspberry Pi, some of the Adreno, some has their own board. So let's take a look. This today is an open box. So if you guys are interested, you will see exactly what comes inside maybe you want to build it before you see the video so or just follow along in one of our uh, live events all right so this is the fourth wheel car and shot to be four wheels here it comes with the electrical tape don't know why what it's for but it's there so it will let me know on the project what we need we we have here two servos we're going to be installing four models these are pretty powerful motor i have all the brushes i built before so these are pretty powerful ones they have four USB type A and micro USB. Not much on the acrylic side. So but we're gonna be putting some things together. And this is the main board. So the chassis of the car is actually the main PCV, right? So we have the main PCV here. So the motherboard. I tell you here how to plug it in, but we're gonna follow the PDF. And if we're looking around, we can see some of the things. Battery, battery not included, so you need to get the batteries. I'll leave you the link right below this video. You see here the boss it powered on. I see, um, I think this has to be for the infrared. I see an infrared sensor there. And I see some photo cells in each corner. So I'm really there. Maybe this controls the, LED, the light here. It depends how bright it is or side or not. And some things we need to plug it in. Pretty much, right? Right there. So let's put it here. And let's look at the other box so you guys can see what else we get in this one, right? So in here. Here we have uh, all the modules and connectors and tools that required to do. So we see an ultrasound sensor there. We use that to make Raspberry Pi. So here we have all the screws and everything else. We see a camera sensor here. So this is the camera. And more connectors and another module. So oh, this is a sensor module uh, to detect, uh, I guess, lines or detect it on the end of the table. Uh, I see a little screen here, LED screen. We see a screwdriver here and even the remote control. So this is a pre-program. I think most like it. Uh, we're going to be controlling this. I don't see any, any Wi-Fi sensor or anything here. Uh, so we're going to be controlling this with the remote control. But the idea is, right? STEM, right? Science, right? Technology, engineering, art, and math. The idea is just to put things together. I think it's a fun thing. Right, and, and that's what we bring in now. And a lot of science, right? Technology here. Some that simple, some more complicated, but I think this is great. Eventually, in a few weeks, I, I'm guessing you will see uh, uh, the whole video and see how this project works. All right, guys. So, for more information or just to grab this cool product, I'll leave you the link right below this video. I'll see you next time.